Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're playing Briar into Karthus. And we're on the new patch. A little bit has changed. Uh, one of the things, Green Smite doesn't give slow or tenacity resist anymore. Gives you a little bit more HP later, I'm pretty sure. And then Water Walking now gives us more AD but less movement speed. Which is kind of a deal for me. That's why I was running it on Briar to begin with. It has its dual purpose for ganking, but the AD you get from it makes you just better at skirmishes. So if the enemy jungler wants to fight for the scuttle crab, then they're, you know, best of luck to them. I've also been testing out this absolute focus, like no promises on it, but it's interesting to say the least. And then they changed a little bit of how the jungle camps are gonna... how much damage they take, because they gave the all the jungle camps armor and MR, which I really don't feel too much on Briar. They also made it where the epic monsters deal more damage to you, which I don't feel on Briar. Like, Briar just, you know, breaks too many of these rules for it to really matter. So, for her, not a lot has changed. Making things pretty simple. I've also been playing a little bit of Warwick, trying to learn that champion. Damn, this guy's already dead. Let's just go ahead and keep clearing if my bot lane's already dead. Because if I try to invade, then I'll just be countered. But I've been playing a little bit of Warwick, and he plays very similar to Briar. Except Warwick's a worse champion. But the good part of that is that I'm learning a little bit of like what it means to do things right or wrong on Briar. With bigger ramifications, because like if I skip one camp at the wrong time on Warwick, I instantly lose. Whereas with Briar, it's not so obvious. So that's been interesting. I, uh, I've been talking to Parnell EX, the challenger Warwick player on NA. And honestly learning a lot, like the MTG green aspect where you have to grow, right? It's like you farm the camps and react. And that's where I got on Briar. The, the mistake I was making initially was that I was trying to attack first and then farm. Because that's like Belveth pathing. You attack and then go back to the camps, but Briar does not do that. Hi, Karthus. Yeah, 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 you can just walk away. No harm here. Oh! He must have gone bot. My W is down for so long. Alrighty, let's do the scuttle crab. Man, Nami, what are you doing? Okay. Jump. Just gonna cross through mid. Let me get my scuttle. Ouch! Sorry, don't. I've already used my E, so there's like too many noobs. We do have Nami coming in. My abilities are coming up, this guy does not have flash. W, flash, Q, auto, auto, chomp, E. Into the wall. You always want to get that auto off before you use the E, that's how I kill her right there. Now Karthus, we have a question, do you want to farm your camps? That would be a very silly choice. You do, that's a very silly choice. Alrighty, you get away with it this time. The Darius should be scared. The Kartha should be scared. Everyone's at my mercy, but nobody's really playing, huh? Let's reset. We got both scuttles. That's a win. Oh yeah, we got a kill. Not bad. The Kartha's clear was super slow, so that made things pretty easy. Let's go Iron Spike Whip and the Boots. The Boots will help me run down the Kartha. What are you doing? What are you doing? But yeah, anyways, with the Warwick stuff, right, he's so much a reactive jungler and I can't believe it. Whenever I was initially playing Warwick, like, I'm trying to figure him out so that I can record a video for newer players on YouTube, obviously. He's a beginner champion. But as I was learning him, I was trying to skip camps and it just doesn't work. You have to clear the camps. And then, as you're clearing the camps, you can react to the plays that happen. And that's exactly how Briar plays out. I already had, like, the sequence built up. I was just doing the opposite. I was trying to attack the bad guys first. I thought Warwick was a MTG red champion. Go attack the bad guy and kill him. Good dunk! My laners have been getting shit on for like, oh, two days now. New patch, same noob laners. Plus, my team sucks. I just need to carry harder, to be honest. 
the first uh, couple games on the new patch, I was just the one making mistakes. Nice, they're overreaching. Now we want to save our W because Alistar is going to CC us. We have a couple ways to play this. Auto. Okay. E. Into the wall, baby. And then W. Q. A. Chomp. Don't mind if I do. Now here comes Kiana, guys. Flash in. She only has so many ways to go now. W. A. Q. A. Chomp. Nice. I think I can do Dragon, too. Yeah, they really messed that up. Get a little bit of HP. Now I have Smite. My problem is, is that Alistar is coming back. It's a good dragon though. This bad boy gets me level 6. It's quite the win. We'll go ahead and Smite early. I think this will take us long enough. Nice. Alistar is just laning. Lucky! No, Alistar. Don't come here. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh god, maybe I'm not good. E. Got the scuttle crab at the very least. Ulti! Oh, nice flash. Chomp. Not gonna be enough. Stun! Iron spike. I think I killed him. Ooh, nice E. Oh. Buh. Alrighty, good play. Let's reset. I'm so... Yeah, I'm so fed. I have Stride Breaker. Mr. Karthus. Oh, your laners have fed. Female Warwick is taking over. But boy, let me tell you, Warwick is so bad come mid-game. <laughs> you just have to wait for stuff to start. At least Briar can start some fights, man. Warwick's just standing around. He's like that guy that starts off cool at a party, then runs out of steam runs out of steam real fast, and then he's just there. He's just there hanging out. Kennen's in a bad spot, he wants to crash the wave, so. It's uh eight seconds on my W though. Phew. Well that was easy. Let's go ahead and do Rift Herald. So, we got the dragon, we killed the Darius, we just finished up this objective as well. And if we do a little John Full Clear, we'll be very strong. Because the closer we get to level 9, the closer we're truly online. So even though we're very fed, we want our XP right here. It's the easiest thing to align on. And the enemy also has no say in me getting this XP. They can't stop me. Pretty chill, no? And then it also helps me align with like what plays I'm actually looking for. I could walk top and maybe kill Darius again. Does that give me more XP? No! So I'm not fucking doing it! And stop fucking asking me! Oh, you're always asking for ganks, you never ask. How is your day going? How you doing? You always just gank this, gank that. With the Rift Herald 2, I have faster recon. I also have more bang for my buck whenever I get a kill in lane. Because then I can drop the Rift Herald and get more turret plates. Oh my god. Wait, that's right. They nerfed turret plates this patch too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We get less gold for that. They also nerfed how much gold that the Rift Herald gives you. So whenever you kill it, it gives you gold. But now it gives even less. W. Chomp. Q. Since there's no objective, we can use the smite on the Gromp here. And then just kite this bad boy out. If we save our W, we'll have it up for Scuttle. And then we clear the Scuttle faster! Oh. Should die. Now we can look for some plays. All the camps are dead. And the easiest way to do that is to move up the map. Push! Where we have Ziggs, if I drop Rift Herald, we might be able to take the whole turret. Push! Hello, friend. Thank you. 
So I can actually use the Rift Herald at the second turret plate here because Ziggs can take the whole turret with his satchel later. Oh sh! Gordy. There's no camps there, Karthus. Okay. We keep hitting the turret. And then Ziggs will be able to take the whole thing here. Eventually. Looks like he doesn't want the next wave, but that's okay. That's a whole bunch of gold for both of us. Let's go ahead and power into Black Cleaver. I'm not seeing like obvious tier 2 boots here. A little bit of that. Would I get a control ward? Sure. The map's pretty dark. I have an enchanter support. Dragon's coming up in 28, but I have my ulti. Come on. Yes. I'll kill Alistar. Check this out. Alistar is like one of the pathetic ones because they never get away. Ever. <laughs> Hello, friend. Come. Ouch. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah, whenever you hit those melee supports like Alistar Leona, you are, like, I ran him from here, the tri brush, all the way to, like, here. <laughs> they don't get away. Ever. They have no damage to turn. I mean, if their teammates are behind them, sure, they'll get away. They have no damage to turn. They're so useless. Nice. Alistar doesn't try to interrupt me again. What a nice guy. I'm going to save my W here so I can W over the wall and maybe get onto Ezreal because Ezreal has nowhere to run. Hello, friend. Oh. He dealt so much damage to me, damn. He dealt 1,000. I did not expect that. Now, to be fair, I was running right into him. That gives a shutdown to Ezreal. He'll get like a Caulfield's Warhammer, but it's okay, I guess. Not ideal, though. Damn. Nowadays, that's like about the only thing that surprised me on the new patch, where... I'm going more offensive builds on like Briar and Belveth, so I'll just die every now and then. Combo that with playing a little bit less? Yeah. Damage Foresight is not there. Ulti. A little bit to the right. Close. Damn. Noobed down. Rift Herald up in 50 makes it easy. The Karth is looking for the play there is super weird, no? Raptors are all over the place, guys. I'm skipping this. Listen, we can come back to the Raptors. 30 seconds on Rift. I got camps to do. The sooner I kill all these, like the more ahead of Karthus I am. Hmm. Maybe we have to change plans. The Kinnon died. Careful. Oh, noob alert. Ouch. I'm gonna take this out so they don't see Galio coming. Oh. I can heal back to full. It's really bad engage. If the Galio flashes past the Alistar headbutt, then we win. But he channeled his W a bit too soon. Yeah, so even though the camps heal you less now, the chomp heals you just enough. Well, my team's not in position, so I don't have to force the Rift Herald. 
I can't even contest it. Jeez, my allies are messing up, huh? At least we have the dragon stack. Black Cleaver, and then I'm feeling like Ninja Tabby into some magic resist later. Which is kind of obvious. AD, mid, top, and ADC. We completed the green smite, so now it's giving us a... Doesn't say the exact amount of the shield. A 180 shield. And then that goes up for level 2. So you can imagine green smite. So much is just like HP per level that you unlock later in the game. And then that's going to combo with the HP per level shard too. Um, this is a tricky position guys, I'm not sure. Because the Darius is mid lane. I'll ulti like this, but damn. Oh. Go ahead and miss. Phew. Oh shit. God. Played that so bad. Because Kiana flashed away from my Q, I'm so dead. And then I can't stop it because I used my E to mitigate the Karthus ulti damage, but he's level 10 and only has Leandris. It's really bad by me. Yeah, I'm not playing these fights well. Auto. Q. Then I miss my ulti, so whenever we go in, boy. Oh, <laughs> Not going to be as tanky as we should be. 16 on Dragon. My whole team doesn't have ults. So let's do this. So strong item-wise, but damn. Let's get level 11 here. Nice. Should be an easy ulti. See ya. Q. Come. Shredbreaker. Auto. W. Chomp. Now that's an easy fight. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, one more dragon. We're looking for one more dragon. Oh, noob alert. Kill this guy. Aw. Targeted Alistar. I even W towards Kiana, damn. Help! Oh, if I W'd in. Since we're very much team fighting, I'll just go Sterax. Death Dance is okay, like, Magic Resist is okay, but... More HP covers a lot of bases. And then I could round out my build with Gargoyles at the end, if I had to. Okay. But yeah, reaching into here is just too much. We know this, but since the objective wasn't up, it can be okay. I'm just gonna drop an ulti just in case. Hello, friends. You know, he's choose to exit like that. And then the Baron's, you know. Baron's done. We do have Kinnon ulti. See ya. Oh! Okay, Baron time. Yeah, you guys can just farm your jungle. That's totally allowed. Jump.
The Baron, guys, the Baron. Surely this is easy, no? Okay, turn. The Ezreal's already eat away once. But whenever I W in, then he gets like guaranteed Qs, making it a lot harder for me. Okay, that's his E, so that's fine. Then he just totally backs off, deal. We're not doing this too fast. Guys, I will take... I'll tank both the... No! Okay, okay, just give me a sec. Surprisingly difficult Baron, though. Two minutes on Dragon, so I'll clean up the red side and then reset. If I clean up the red side, it also lets me buy a resistance item. Jeez, guys. Why was that so hard? Uh, he's like, I mean, everyone on my team is like a caster champion, so whenever they're on cooldown, like, they're so on cooldown. Cooldown for so long. Karthus has 110 CS, good for him. What, elo? Yeah, we're in master tier. I'm trying to climb to grandmaster, just give me a second. Just give me a second, I'm trying my best. A little bit of this, a little bit of magic assist, and a cloth armor. Not bad. Gives us way more durability. You know what else gives us durability? Getting face levels, baby! Why are they fighting this? Close. Pretty slow on my end, which is bad. Wow, my Galio's build is crazy. The no damage Galio build. Oh, noob alert. W. Q. A. A. Stride. A. A. Chump. Oh, Nami, what the hell? My kill. Seventeen seconds on Dragon Boys. You can concede. Top, you can concede top turret. It's okay. We did have Zonias. Noob alert. Damn it. I'm missing everything. Die. Die. Just give me a second. You're dead, buddy. W, Q, Comp, E. See ya. Goodbye. Smite. Oh, Quadra kill. Don't mind if I do. W. Flash, Q, A, A. A stride, A, A chomp, E. Aw. No quadra for me. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Chomp. Unofficial Penta, to be fair. Alrighty, time to get dragon. <laughs> All the champions are dead. It's time to do dragon. Why can't I ever get a real Penta on Briar? Is it because, like, I just kill one, and then another one, and then another one? Like, it takes so long. It's probably because my team do doesn't really set up fights, you know? I'm just taking these, like, one... I do my individual 1v1s over and over and over. Alrighty, it's time to reset. Gargoyles. Our Baron buff has been over. Run! And with Gargoyles, this is like your in-game tank item. Giving you armor, magic resist, ability haste, and a big-ass shield for all the HP that you've built. And then from here, honestly, I think like a Last Whisper. Like Shereldas or something. Shereld... Last Whisper. The hell... Shereldas. And I'm also looking for level 16. Because until the Baron spawns, we don't have Great Blaze. We can do something in the sideline, but... Noob alert. 
See ya. Strike breaker. Auto. Auto. Q. A. Chomp. Whenever you land an ulti, it's gonna reveal the enemy, so... Especially stealth champs like Kiana with her Q and Akali with her Shroud. They get so screwed by it. Alrighty, and just like that, we're level 16. That was easy. Oh, noob alert. W. Smite. Q. A. Stride. Chomp. Tia. Ouch. Ouch. Let's go ahead and reset. But like I said, Last Whisper is my last item. Seems alright. So we deal primarily physical damage and everything... Everything's solved that it, like... I don't know. I don't know what other item I would get. AD. Nah, we've built three AD items. On hit. Nah, not really, like... We hit him a lot, but not like that. Oh, move alert. Damn, everything's warded, huh? Ouch. Oh. Sorry. And then what I've learned from playing Warwick is you do nothing right here. It's pretty chill. We're just waiting for something to start for us. And would you look at that. Boink. E. Jesus. Oh! Oh, the retargeting screwed me. Phew. I have more HP than you think. Q. Chomp. Smite. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we have infinite HP. Hop. Close. Hit the turrets! They're hitting our tank Galio. Alrighty, GG, final score. 19, 3, and 12. I didn't know I had that many kills. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. Playing Warwick has made me better at Briar. Because Warwick is so bad. He's like legit C, solid C tier. C, you know, not Z, not S, like Briar. C! So, where I had to do those things right. It's like playing with weights or something. And now my Briar's better. And not just because I got 19 kills, it's just like the games I've been playing on have been pretty good in similar ways. It's very easy for me to stay solid. Alrighty, plus 26, that puts us at Masters 200 LP. I was at 300 earlier today. Who took all my damn points? Um, final damage dealt, 33k. We got an unofficial Pinta. Um, and a review of Water Walking, we didn't really get to use it too much. Um, maybe we did. We did fight a lot in the river, and it's hard for me to pay attention to the AD that I build up, like, during that, so, I don't know. I, I, that's what I was running before, was the water walking, and then Absolute Focus or Transcendence are both fine. It's whatever. It, it honestly doesn't matter too much. I think against Karthus, I could have just done Free Boots and Inspiration, though, because I saved 300 gold and then match tempo if things go even. Because he's not going to fight me in the river, really. But the water walking did help me, like, on the first scuttle I could have hopped over Dragon Pit a little bit faster because I have the movement speed. Hard to say, man. But against champions that want to fight for a scuttle, I'm definitely going to keep running this.
And it's so minor that it doesn't really matter. So if you're thinking about it, don't overthink it. Run inspiration or sorcery tree and you'll be fine. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Belveth coming soon. Don't ask me about it, okay? Go ahead and ask me about it. But don't ask me about it, okay?